Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new XCOM 2 campaign. Since I haven't actually done a full XCOM 2 campaign since Tactical Legacy Pack. I'm quite looking forward to this. I am using quite a few mods as usual. The full mod list will be linked in the video description. There are some new mods, there are some old mods. I have Raider Faction mods, which I haven't used before. It's several separate mods and they basically add new factions that are kind of like the Lost in the sense that they get their own separate turn, they might attack you, they might attack Advent. They definitely make things more interesting. The main downside, if it's a downside, is that they can make missions a little bit long, so I might end up splitting some of the missions into two episodes, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. They definitely make things more interesting. I got a few extra classes, some of the ones that I used before, some new ones, and so I got Infantry class, I got Sonic class, I got Samurai, which is kind of a high risk, high reward class. It's a melee only class, they do not have any ranged weapons. And I also got Mech Troopers. And I got a bunch of new enemies, as always. Some of the ones that I used before, some new ones, like Advent Custodian or Omega Berserker. As always, the mod list will be linked in the video description below. There are a lot of mods in there, so I won't go through every single one. But these are some of the most important ones that I just mentioned. I got a new character pool. There will be some of the old characters, there will be some new characters. Let's get started! I'm quite looking forward to this. It's been a while since I played an XCOM 2 campaign. Alright, we will be playing on Legend, obviously and we'll turn off beginner voiceover. Alright, let's get started. And I will be playing without Lost and Abandoned and with integrated downloadable content. I mean, the Nest and the Lost Tower missions aren't too bad, but the Lost Tower's mission can be really long. I'm not a huge fan of that one. Oh, we got a Templar. Nice. That's pretty much always my preference. Especially for Gatecrusher. Because I'm not exactly a huge fan of Gatecrusher. <laughs> it's just not fun playing with four rookies. Alright, so let's see who we got. Rosa. Anna. Lotharion. And Alec. Alright then. So, let's get started. Here's our objective. And let's take a look around. We will stay on the high ground for obvious reasons. Got it. Is there in. anyone around here? Not seeing anyone no, just yet. Go, go, go. Alright, there's no huge rush. Let's see if there's a patrol around here. Yep, here's a patrol. And they are moving towards us. Wait, only two of them? No, three of them. Disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Is that guy like levitating mid air? <laughs> That's their new technology. They can actually levitate now. Alright, well, in that case, let's just shoot them. It probably won't be very safe to charge them with their Templar, but hopefully, we'll be able to kill at least two of them. We could also wait another turn. Let them move a little bit closer. But we should be fine. Alright, so Overwatch with two soldiers. And we'll save our Templar's turn. Make it a good one, Lotharion! There it is. I would have preferred four damage, but it's fine. Could have been worse, it could have been a miss. Here's the important part, the other two shots. Nice! Okay, good. We might be able to kill the last one with our pistol. Because I don't think it's safe to charge him. It would be best to charge him, but I don't know about that. The problem is that if I want to use the pistol from the high ground, then we won't have cover. But if we charge him, we might trigger a new group, which I would really prefer to avoid. On the other hand, the other group will likely be up here, close to the stage. 
we won't have line of sight to that from the low ground. Alright, fine, let's charge him to get some focus. Hopefully I won't regret that. There's our focus. Looks like we're fine. Okay, yeah, we are fine, good. Now I don't really want to move. Let's just move like this. Let's see if we can keep the high ground. Probably not, because there's definitely going to be one group around the stage. And we will have to go there, I can't just stay back here. There will be two more groups. One of them will be close to the stage. Wait, I think we found something? No, that was just the civilian moving. I am using a mod that changes civilian's behavior. One of the many mods I'm using. Just in case you will see them doing something that they normally don't do. Alright, let's be careful around here. We still got all our grenades. We didn't take any damage whatsoever. It's a pretty good start. Now, we don't want to be caught on the long ground. Certainly. So the plan is to move as close as possible without being seen. And then go to the high ground with everyone. Before anyone gets a chance to shoot us or even see us. Yeah, there's definitely a group up here. Okay. We should be able to move a little bit closer without being seen. Yeah, let's do it like this. Here. And we'll move into cover. Hopefully we are actually close enough to move into cover. Yeah, this is a little bit tricky. Yes, we got some full cover actually. Let's do that. This is almost certainly going to trigger something. I think it's safe to assume this will trigger at least one group. Wait, no it didn't, really? Okay, I mean, I certainly don't mind, don't get me wrong. But that's unexpected. Well, in that case, let's take advantage of that. We can use Overwatch with at least one person. Okay, let's use Overwatch. Maybe they will find us, that would be best. Yeah, they are behind the stage, almost certainly. I mean, there's not a whole lot of this map left, so they have to be there. Alright, move it a little bit closer still. I'm not in a huge rush. Our main objective here is to finish the mission either without taking any damage or minimal damage. Especially on the Templar, because I'd like to have him available for the next few missions. And if he takes damage, then he'll be gone for a while. Let's just reload our weapons. Probably not needed, but might as well. It's probably a stationary group. It's unlikely they will actually move. So I guess that means we should move ourselves. Still nothing. Come on now. Nope. Alright, well, I guess we have to move ourselves. Where do we go? We could try to go here. That's not a bad idea. Just need to be a little bit closer. Okay, I'll go. And then we might be able to force them to make a bad move. Hey, who knows? Maybe they will still move. Probably not, though. Alright, let's do this. Now, this will definitely trigger something. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so that's not the officer group. That's the sectoid and gunslinger. Let's try to kill them without triggering the officer. The group with the officer has to be, like, over here or so. Interesting. Well, how do we do this? 
Obviously, I can use the Templar, but that is not safe. If I charge the Gunslinger with her Templar, we will definitely trigger a new group. It might be best to back up and let them come to us. I'm actually thinking that might be the best move. Or we could hide in full cover. We could actually hunker down here, but the Gunslinger might be able to flank me. Yeah, he will probably be able to flank me. So we can hide in full cover, like so. Okay. And then Overwatch with the others. We could move slightly closer. We could actually use Vault, which might kill the Gunslinger, but then we'll have less damage. So I don't think I'm a big fan of that solution. We could shoot him. It should be safe to move here. Heading out. No, it's not. Damn it. Alright, well, now we might as well use the Templar, I guess. I was hoping we'll be safe, but apparently not so much. Well, we do have cover from that direction. Let's use the Templar. On Ho. If we could kill the officer, that would be great. We could actually kill the officer. If we throw a grenade. We could throw a grenade and then charge him with the Templar. But I would need to move a little bit closer. And that's a problem, because if I move up here or here, then the troopers will be able to flank me. Which I'm not overly excited about. Oh, hold on! Lotharion is actually close enough for that grenade. Let's do it then. We need to kill the officer because he will mark someone otherwise. And I do not want that to happen. As an alternative, we could try to shoot him. If, the, if that works, then we can kill one of the troopers. Interesting idea. I don't think it's safe to stand here, no. But if I move away, we'll be out of range. If I stand here, then the Gunslinger will be able to flank me. Yeah, this is bad because someone will flank me almost no matter what. We have to do something risky. Here, 28% chance to hit him. Nice one. So now we can kill one of the troopers. Or the Gunslinger. I'm leaning towards killing the trooper. Yeah, let's kill the trooper. Go, go, go. Alright. That wasn't too bad, all things considered. We'll see what's going to happen on the next turn. And we'll move into cover. This should be fine, hopefully. I don't mind taking some damage. I just want to avoid taking damage on the Templar specifically. Here comes the Sectoid. He'll probably use some Sonic ability. Yes. On Lotharion. Mind control resisted, good. He will panic, but that's better than being mind controlled. And here comes the Gunslinger. Okay, good, he missed. We are fine. So now we can kill the Gunslinger. We are too far away to attack the Sectoid. We should be able to kill both the Gunslinger and the other Trooper. We can just flank the Trooper. However, we are not guaranteed to kill him. Wait, we can't flank the Trooper. Yeah, because he's using cover. Okay, then. We could throw a grenade. That's certainly an option. It's not like we'll use that grenade for anything else. Okay, this mission is almost done. Let's throw the grenade then. The only problem is that we might destroy the cover, but the sectoid is too far to the left. We'll still have at least partial cover, even if we destroy part of the stage. And I assume that guy will die. Yeah, he's dead. We destroyed the lot because the grenade killed him. That was fairly unlikely because the grenades don't do 4 damage that often. But oh well, it's fine. Now we can kill the Gunslinger with her Templar. 
That was the most reliable way to kill that trooper. And I was not going to leave him alive. Because that would have been bad. Alright, and we'll need to deal with the sectoid on the next turn. Might be best if we dash towards it. Okay, that's fine. Let's stay in full cover. So he can't use mind control right now. He might try to shoot us. No. Yeah, he used the side zombie, which I don't really care about. He is about to die. Oh, we might actually kill him with the Templar. So let's do that. He's dead. Nice. So it didn't take any damage on the Templar. Good. That was basically the main goal. <laughs> we missed out on some loot, but that's fine. There will be plenty of loot. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Yes, go us. Calm down, Bradford. We'll planting them. I'm trusting you here. Have some patience. Here. Are you happy now? Menace 1 5. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. So that's Gatecrusher out of the way. Oh, and oh, damn it. I was going to show you one of the new mods that I'm using. <laughs> but it's muscle memory. Clicking continue. Plotting to destroy all we have built. To return us. I'll show you after the next mission. Unless muscle memory kicks in again. So let's check the classes. We got the samurai. So, like I mentioned at the start, samurai is kind of a high risk, high reward class. They don't have any ranged weapons. But they have dual wield katanas, and also they gain focus after each kill in combat. And he can use a special ability that consumes two focus, which will then not end the turn after each attack. So that is quite nice. As long as you have a little bit of focus, you can move after killing something with this ability, because normally you can't. Then we got plus 3 damage and plus 10 hit chance with melee weapons and tactical rigging. So we could use something like an extra vest to increase survivability. So that's the samurai. Serving then we got a grenadier. Unfortunately, that's the wounded guy. And Just finally, Lotharion will be a sharpshooter. Okay, sounds good. And we got some corpses. So, let's get started on the modular weapons research, as always. And we'll get started on the ring facility. I want that done ASAP, so that we can start actually using it. We don't have an engineer yet. So, supplies. There's our Templar. My followers seek balance with the psionic forces that flow Let's get started. We'll do one more mission Shadows since Gatecrusher was short. By technology of our own design to pursue justice for those who have fallen victim to the Hopefully we'll get an engineer fast. I think you will find our result. There's the research. Expectations. Technology breakthrough. Adaptive personal combat seems. Yeah. I would really like to get that, because that will allow us to reuse combat sims indefinitely. We don't have any yet, but if I don't research it right now, it will be gone. Alright, fine, let's grab it. Task, 62 supplies and Avenger some rookies. Yep, let's go get the rookies. And there's the mission. And our engineer. Hack the hidden resistance computer. Unfortunately, we don't have a specialist just yet. Which means we'll have to do it from melee range. That's fine, though. So, we'll bring Samurai, Sharpshooter, and I assume Templar is tired. 
Yeah, okay, I'll skip the Templar this time. Let's get Cruza and Bob. And that's pretty much it. We could make a medkit, which we probably should. And or a flashbang grenade. We will definitely need a medkit, so might as well make one. A flashbang grenade might be useful. So we could grab that. But early on, I think I'd rather keep regular grenades. This is fine. Oh yeah, and let's use the old style weapons. These are basically the same, but they are like old style. So we'll use those. Here. Okay. Well, let's get started. And go get our engineer. So, here we are. Let's get started. Our objective is all the way over there. A little bit far away. Okay, let's go. There's a little bit of high ground we might be able to use. Possibly. We'll find out. At the same time, we need to keep moving. It might not actually be any good. If there are no enemies nearby. Anything? No enemies yet. Well then. Moving to designated position. Anything around the corner? No. Still nothing. Okay. Let's check that next room. Yeah, I think we got something. Because I can't tab. Enemy patrol. Yeah, we got them. Gunslinger and Sectoid. Alright, so we don't have to worry about Sectoids too much with our Samurai. But they can still be dangerous. We could skip this group, but I don't really want to. Because if we do that, they might just attack us from the back while we're fighting another group. I would rather avoid that kind of scenario. So how do we do this? I don't really want to wait, because our time is limited. Probably best if we just take that shot. And overwatch with the others. And hopefully they will move into view. Alright, go Bob! Nice one! So now the Sectoid. The Sectoid is pretty much guaranteed to die. The only problem is that if we dash into the fog, we might trigger a new group. But this is still the best way to kill the Sectoid. And we'll gain one focus. With two focus, we can use our special ability. Which will not end our turn after kills. We got Alarium Core and Advanced Autoloader. Nice. And we are safe. We didn't trigger anything. I assume the other groups are close to our actual objective. So this was unlikely to trigger something, but it was certainly a possibility. Like I said before, this is basically a high-risk, high-reward class. That's more or less what it is. Alright, let's move on. It should be safe to move up here. I assume there are groups on the other side of the wall. So we'll just avoid revealing those. We still got lots of time, but remember, we need to be in melee range, because we don't have a specialist. That is disappointing, but I really need the engineer. So let's set up with Rotarion. Maybe over here. I'm on it. Okay, looks fine. I assume we'll trigger something if we move much closer. So let's wait one turn, because that way. We will hopefully have a good shot with Lotharion. Might be a good idea to reload, but a little bit too late now. So now we can move in. We got six more turns. Not a lot of time, honestly. Yep, here they are. We got a Sectoid, a Trooper. And another Trooper. We can deal with that. So, I could just kill the Sectoid right away. Probably not a very safe thing to do, because there will be one more group at least. 
what's our chance to hit? 52%. So we could take that shot or we can use a grenade. It might be best to save the grenades for now. We could try to take this shot. Let's try to take that shot then. Come on, Lutherion. Nice one! We even got a crit. Which wasn't entirely necessary, but alright. So now we could kill the sectoid, but there is one more group around here and we don't know where exactly it is. He will likely use one of his sonic abilities. We could flank it, but that's not very safe either. No, it's not. If we throw a grenade, we'll do granted 6 damage, but it will not destroy their cover. Because this is indestructible cover. We could actually throw the grenade with our samurai. The only thing is that I don't really want to move into this room. Okay, let's do it. Here, we will hit them both. We might even kill the trooper if we get lucky with 4 damage. No, we did not. Okay, that's fine. We can still take some shots. One shot from back here and the other shot with Bob. The chance to hit will be pretty low. It might be better to overwatch. But it's slightly better than 1 in 4. Oh, 38%. That's not too bad. Let's take that shot. Now. And we'll overwatch with Groza. I assume the Sector will use a Sonic ability, and he will. On our Samurai, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, that's the problem. Now I kind of have to kill the Sectoid. So now I guess we need the grenade. Yes, we do. And I can't even move because the trooper is on Overwatch. And Croza cannot flank the Sectoid. Okay, this is slightly unfortunate. Let's throw that grenade. That will kill the trooper. But now we need 3 more damage on the sectoid. I might have to use another grenade. Which I would prefer to avoid, but oh well. Yep, I can't flank him. Unfortunately. We can take a shot with Croza, and if it fails, Lutherion will use his grenade. It's pretty likely to fail, it's only 26%, but we might as well try. No. Okay, I guess we'll use that grenade, but let's do it without triggering anything. I will have to stand in the open, I don't really want to move into the room because we don't know where the other group is. So let's play it safe. Here, that will be fine. And the sectoid will die. I would have preferred not using so many grenades for this, but oh well. We are safe, that's the important part. And we got four more turns. So now we can move into the room. There's still one more group somewhere, but we don't know where exactly it is. And I would like to reload, if possible. Okay, let's play it safe. We'll reload. We got time. We'll move in on the next turn. They have to be somewhere close. Still nothing. Okay, now we can move in. We need to be in melee range. This would be so much easier with a specialist. Oh, there they are. Uh, that's not too bad, only two troopers. We can deal with that, certainly. Are we in range? Yes, we are, so I could kill one of them, guaranteed. It wouldn't be a very safe thing to do, because I would have to run through the fire. But we can. Let's take that shot. We'll hit one of those eventually. <laughs> Probably not anytime soon. 49%. I don't like partial cover, 
but these are only troopers. They can't do more than 3 damage. And I would really like to kill one of them. Come on, people. No, that is not good. Come on, kill him, Bob. Not quite. Well, fine. So again, I could kill him, but that is not safe. Not at all. Just let them do their thing. Hopefully they won't hit the same person. That's the only way they could actually kill someone. Yeah, we already know they won't kill anyone. Unless they crit. But that's like 10% chance to crit. This is actually pretty close. We only got two turns until shutdown. We got one more grenade, right? Yes, but Croza might be too far away. He is slightly too far away. I could just charge the trooper and trigger overwatch. We will be dashing, so his chance to hit will be fairly low. I think I'm just going to do that, and it's a guaranteed kill. Alright, let's just do that. Even if he hits, he will not do more than 3 damage. He will not hit. And now he's dead. Let's finish this. We still got one more turn. But maybe we won't be needing it. Seriously, Croza? What the heck? Come on, bro. What was that even supposed to be? Just no comment. Here, see? He hit! Through cover! Area secure secure indeed. So I guess we won't be getting the reward from this. <laughs> Unless we get incredibly lucky. Yeah, 4%. Wait, what? We almost got it! That's actually pretty funny. But oh well. I literally do not have a specialist yet, so yeah. Oh, was it a flawless mission? Bonus ability points awarded, free. And we got a battle scanner. Yeah, it was a flawless mission. Because I also got a mod that gives you some minor rewards when you have a flawless mission. And here's another mod I got. Mission debriefing. So we can see some stats for each of our soldiers, some awards, close range, most assists, solo slayer and kill stealer. Then we got Lotharion. We got Bob. Overqualified. Got the most kills relative to their rank. Okay. And Cruza. Sneakiest and most exposed. Shot accuracy. Zero. <laughs> zero out of four. He didn't hit anything. Okay, that's pretty bad. That's bad and you should feel bad. No promotion for you. Twenty years of peace and prosperity will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with Did we actually get any promotions? We got one, right? We got two. Right, for the rookies. So Bob will be a psionic. Okay, nice. We'll get Soulfire and Stasis. And Croza will be a ranger. Yep, that's fine. He has above average combat intelligence. That didn't help him hit, did it? No, it did not. Let's check our roster for combat intelligence. There's the engineer. So I'm going to use the engineer to finish the resistance ring ASAP because I would like to get started on covert operations. And let's check combat intelligence. Let's see, so Anna is gifted. The darker orange is above average. Our Templar is above average. That's not too bad. We don't have any geniuses, unfortunately. That would have been green. Oh well, hopefully we'll get some. I had better rosters in the past, but it's fine. We don't need anything from you right now. Okay, back to the bridge. 
We have a lead on the alien black site. There's the black site rely on the local and scientists actually get us into the facility. We should try to yeah, let's grab the scientists first. The as as they possible. will expire in 22 days, so we got plenty of time. So we need that scientist yeah. ASAP. For obvious reasons. But we will also get the rookies. And there it is. Avengers By the way, I actually added course. some developers from the developer pool, but not as soldiers, as VIPs and such. Just to make sure the actual soldiers from my proper pool won't take any of those slots. Because sometimes they do, even though they are not enabled as VIPs. So I added some actual VIPs. Oh, we got... A mission for infantry and a specialist and a scientist and 80 intel operation doom slap well then that will be happening in the next episode so thanks for watching this one i hope you enjoyed it leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't and let me know what you think so far i hope you're excited for this new campaign i certainly am i'll see you next time bye bye